So, you've got a wonderfully powerful, fantastically portable Ultrabook that pretty much fits all your needs except for one, graphics processing power. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just plug in the latest, greatest graphics card and get the perfect combination of power and portability? I'm Father Robert Balliser, the Digital Jesuit, and this is an analog unboxing of the Asus XG Station Pro. Greetings, Uber Geeks. I've got a little treat for all of those who have a Windows or Mac notebook sporting a Thunderbolt port with eGPU support. Now, this is the $330 XG Station Pro Thunderbolt 3 eGPU dock from Asus, and it wants to give you power. Now, the idea is simple. Take any notebook with a compatible port and give it the ability to use full-size graphics cards to dramatically increase its graphics horsepower. Now, it's a feature that has long been promised on notebooks and usually under-delivered, but with the advent of the eGPU spec and super high-speed connection options, we can finally see that promise delivered. Cracking open the box, you'll find the dock and all its accessories. Along with a manual and a power cord, there's an external power source providing 330 watts of power to the enclosure. ASUS also includes a 1.5 meter active Thunderbolt 3 Type-C cable. This sounds like a small detail, but these cables can actually be quite expensive. And the last thing you want is a questionable quality bargain basement cable connecting your laptop to what will be, I guarantee, will be the highest bandwidth device you have connected to your system. The all-aluminum enclosure is light, under three pounds, and it is relatively small at 37 and a half by 20 and a half by 10.7 centimeters. So it is portable, though once you add the weight of a full-size card and the external power source, it's gonna tip the scales at near 10 pounds. So while you can move it from place to place, it's probably not something that you'll always want to be carrying. Now the back of the station has the dual slot for the graphics card, the enormous port for the external power supply, a power switch, the Thunderbolt port, and a single USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C connector for connecting peripherals. There is a single screw and locking mechanism that keeps everything together, but allows easy access to the slide out top and side panels. Now I really like the feel of the enclosure. It's solid, strong, elegant, and I really like the fact that they integrated a removable, washable air filter across the entire removable side panel. Catching dust and debris before it gets stuck to my video card, well, that's always a plus. Inside the XG Station Pro is a clean, no-nonsense layout. There's a single 16-lane PCIe interface slot and a supplementary power cable that allows you to, well, power pretty much any card. Speaking of graphics cards, the Station Pro supports a range of cards from the GTX 900 series and later to the 1660 series up to the RTX 2080 and Quadro line. Now on the AMD side, which by the way are the only cards that Mac OS will support, it will work with the Radeon RX 570, 580 and the Radeon Pro WX7100. Be sure to check the ASUS website to make sure that the enclosure will work with your card of choice. A word on noise. The XG Station Pro uses two 120 millimeter exhaust fans that can be controlled through the ASUS Tweak 2 software. Now this is important because if you're using an ASUS video card as well, that means through one app you have total control over all the parts in the enclosure that make noise. Add to that the fact that the XG Station Pro uses an external power supply that doesn't dump its heat into the enclosure and therefore has to be cleared by the fans and you can actually have a silent, as in zero decibel, no decibel noise enclosure under light loads. There's a lot for me to test once I get this Station Pro back to my lab in Rome. I'll be pairing it with this, an ASUS ROG Strix GTX 1660 Ti A6G Gaming Advanced Edition video card. And I wanna see if it can provide me with a powerful, quiet, and stable, and let me stress stable, graphics experience. Now, if you want to see the full review, if you want to see how this pair holds up, and if you want to see the individual review of the graphics card itself, be sure to like this video. It really helps me grow my audience. 
Don't forget to share it with a friend and ring the bell to subscribe. Also, please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash PadreSJ to see what's coming down the pipeline. Until next time, I'm Father Robert Balasser, the digital Jesuit, reminding you that there's no overgeek without you. Thank you.